Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will tell you how to find out the derivative of x sin x using first principle. Let's know what is the meaning of first principle, what is its formula, what are the steps. Let y equals fx be a given function. Then the rate of change of y with respect to x is defined by this dy over dx equals limit s tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx upon h. This is also denoted by f dash x. By calculating the limit of this fx plus h minus fx upon h, we can find out the derivative of this function and this is known as the differentiation using first principle. By taking the example x sin x, we have to find out its derivative using first principle. Let's do it step by step. First of all, we will write down the formula. Formula for derivative is f dash x equals limit h tends to 0 f x plus h minus f x upon h. Now what we have to do, we have to find out the value of fx plus h. fx is already given to us and we will substitute the value of fx, fx plus h and fx and we will calculate the limit of this whole. Now we have to find out fx plus h for next step because fx is, what is fx? x sin x. So fx plus h would be x plus h into sine x plus h. x will be replaced by simply x plus h, both side. Now substitute the value of fx and fx plus h over here in this equation. f dash x will be limit h tends to 0 x plus h because the formula is fx plus h. So substitute the value of fx plus h. It will be x plus h sine x plus h minus fx. fx is x sine x all divided by h. Now in the next step we will multiply f dash x equals limit h tends to 0, multiply x by sin x plus h, it will become x sin x plus h and we can write to h sin x plus h minus x sin x whole divided by h, whole divided by h. Now limit h tends to 0, multiplying it and we can take these terms together. Taking x common it will become sin x plus h minus sin x plus h into sin x plus h whole divided by h. Now, taking, simplifying it further, it will become x as it is, sin c minus sin d using the concept. Sin c minus sin d will be 2 cos c plus d upon 2 into sin c minus d upon 2 whole divided by h plus limit h tends to 0 h sin x plus h upon h we have divided both the term this term and this term by h and we have separated it to find this you will get f dash x equals limit h tends to 0 
टू एक्स कॉस एक्स प्लस एच वाई टू बिकॉज टू एक्स अपॉन टू विल बी एक्स एंड प्लस एच वाई टू इन टू साइन एच अपॉन टू अपॉन एच प्लस दिस एच विल कैंसिल आउट अ लिमिट एच टेंस टू जीरो साइन एक्स प्लस एच नाउ वी कैन राइट इट एज लिमिट एच टेंस टू जीरो वी कैन डिवाइड इट इन इट बाई टू एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू एंड वी कैन राइट इट एज एक्स इज देयर यू कैन राइट एक्स ओवर हियर एंड कॉस एक्स प्लस एच वाई टू टू विल ऑल्सो वी हियर यू कैन राइट टू ओवर हियर टू एक्स एंड इन टू लिमिट एच टेंस टू जीरो साइन एच वाई टू एंड दिस एच वाई टू इज हियर एंड यू कैन कीप इन द्लो बैकेट and uh, this two will remain as it is this two and because h tends to 0 hy2 tends to 0 plus using find the substitute h equals 0 over over years it will become sin x here we can simplify it further on simplifying you will get it is 2x cos x and its value will be 1 because we know that limit theta tends to 0 sin theta upon theta is 1 where these three should be same and here we can see it is 1 2 x cos uh, h is 0 over here simply cos x into 1 into 1 upon 2 plus sin x 2 will cancel out it will be x cos x plus sin x so derivative of so derivative of x sin x is equal to x cos x plus sin x that's all in this video thank you for watching